This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. <laughs> oh, I'm just having so much fun already. I hope you'll have fun for the next uh, uh, hour and a half. Uh, it's the Ramble, and I'm your humble host. I'm Alex. Yes, hello. How are you? Wait a minute. Let's see here. I sprinkle some uh, uh, some Windex on my glasses here, so that they're they're. Uh, and then I, of course, use my you know this to clean them. Isn't that terrible? Isn't that horrible that I do? Uh, well. Uh, because I've decided that I get a little dizzy or something at t- certain points of the show, and I think it's because I'm not wearing glasses when I do this, and I really should because, oh, I can see the screen now. It's it's all before me, this control that I have over the over the program and stuff like that. Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. I'm... Uh, a person who does this program for as long as I'm here on planet Earth, uh, and above room temperature, you know, uh, and uh, we talk to other people who are above room temperature and hope to continue so, and uh, I just want to say hello to all of you. It's, uh, it's pleasant having you here, uh, and, uh, you know, I have a little bit of fun doing this, so I hope you have fun doing it as well. And you can do it by, uh, you, know, you can call us using, uh, going over to um, gabnet.net. And over on the right-hand side of the page is a little link uh, to go to our uh, Zoom. It just says Zoom there. Click on that, and it'll bring you here. And uh, uh, if you put in a reasonable name, I'll, I'll let you on and give it a shot. Because sometimes we have some people calling, and they... Uh, uh, they uh, they come on and then they they don't have anything to say except show us, well, porn. <laughs> and and usually it, it if if it were the kind of porn that these heterosexual guys who call my show uh, liked, uh, then that'd be okay. But no, it's like really gay stuff. So you know. And while I there's nothing wrong with that, mind you. Uh, I uh, I you know. Female. I'm 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 I'm. I'm well, actually, I'd say I'm heterosexual, but I don't think I'm anything anymore. Ever since the operations I had on my prostate, I think it's pretty pretty much gone. In fact, uh, we got a guy here who's been operating without a prostate for quite a while now. Let me see here. Let's uh, bring the... There he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's Phil Meyer. How are you, Phil? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yes. Uh, how? By the way, you, you, they they completely removed your prostate. Yes. M- mine they beat up on. Okay. Yeah. And and I really have no sex drive anymore. Well, uh, I can tell you that it's the same for me. No prostate. You know, it's even porn doesn't uh, doesn't do it. Well, for it's me. funny. You could you could. You could, uh, I, I, and I never could quite figure it out. I mean, you can remove that prostate, but does that mean that you don't have any sex drive anymore? Um, I guess so. You know, uh, part of it is the nerves have to reattach, mm-hmm. and it's been, what, three, over three years? And uh, they're starting to. You know, I, I get up in the morning now, and there's a slight bit of wood, but not enough to, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, you know, I... Uh, uh, I just I, I I can't figure it out. I mean, maybe maybe just age has gotten to me. Well, as well. it could be a loss of testosterone. Y- and, yeah. And uh, and but the problem with testosterone is it feeds cancer. So uh, they actually gave me a shot called Luperin, I believe, mm-hmm. and that lowered my testosterone while they were giving me the radiation when the cancer came back. Yeah. Uh, now, the side effects to that is I was looking at male purses and I was watching all of these, uh, you know, chick flicks that you cry over. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. a sensitive guy, I, I guess did, you could did tell. Did it make you more sensitive? Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, have you met my friend? Uh, we have a guest. 
uh, beside me. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, and uh, he's he's a little pissed at Mr. Biden. He says uh, no, Biden wait, shot wait, down wait, 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 spacecraft. What do you? What do you? Just uh, lay it's off the of joke. It. Go for the joke. Lay off uh, of it. Biden You're... shot down his spacecraft, and he wants it back. You know. You know I just think that you know. Uh, I think that what they shot down was probably some kid's balloon. Well, uh, and the kid I... is very disappointed. Mommy, where's my balloon? Well, you know, I saw an article that said that there's a hobby club and their balloon is missing. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's 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 a weather club and and they they regularly launch these balloons that cost them over $100 uh and uh, uh to study weather patterns. And uh Gee, so, one of our balloons are missing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jeez almighty. Well, yeah. you know, this guy's balloon was missing. So uh, uh, anyway, yeah, so back to uh, back to health. Uh, in Ohio, mm -hmm. they're going to have some problems with health. I guess uh, uh, people's pets are dying. Uh, the rivers are contaminated wait, wait a minute, wait, wait uh, because a minute. of the train derailment. Uh, I don't think the pets would be dying yet. Oh, no, that's what they said. They, they said that... Uh, Pets uh, unless the pets the, went really close to the train and breathed in all that stuff. Well, know? there are there's a pretty good sized population w within the a mile, I believe, radius of. Uh, I mean, where the the, the, uh, the very, very negative impact of all of this won't be seen for several years now. We're talking about the train out in Ohio that, you know, mm -hmm. upended itself. Uh, yeah. This, I guess, is, is is not the first. There was another one. Uh, there was another one uh, today, I believe. Uh, where was it? Um, uh, hey, it's always know. it's always something else, you know. I mean, I, and now I have this watch, right? The, the Apple Watch, mm -hmm. which yeah. I don't think you don't have one, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, I don't yeah. wear it. It's really good. It's really good. But, I have the but, original one, but, and it's still on the charger. It, it, <laughs> it, uh, but I get all these messages, right? Yeah. Some of them from my actually from my oven that tells oh, yeah. me that it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> clean me. I need to be cleaned. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, uh, but I get, uh, every, about once a day I get a thing, oh, three people shot in Michigan. Okay, that's that's the shooting for today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that that's that's just the beginning, I guess. Uh, but back to... Well, the, you, well, you, the, wait a minute. Don't, don't slough that off so fast. Yeah. Well, there was I a mean, what, what Jewish we, guy we, shot we, in L.A. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? Uh, I don't think it's the fault of the gun. What? No, I didn't. Did I start in on that one yet? You were getting there. I was getting there. Yeah, I was creeping <laughs> yeah. up on you. But yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, isn't enough enough, Phil? I mean, don't, isn't there a point at which we say, listen, we got to do something about limiting uh, the sale, at least, of certain kinds of weapons? Well, I don't think those certain kinds of weapons are uh, the ones that we have to fear. Uh, what what do we mean? have kids to are going in, criminals. kids are going into their school and shooting up uh, the school with an AR-15. I'd say that's a problem. Well, you just AR-15s are scary-looking guns, but they uh, function they, they, just are like they a are called, rifle. They are, it's called assault rifles. No, no, no. A, you know what AR stands like stands for? Uh, assholes, Ar Ar assholes, I rifles. I think it's Armalite. Corporation, uh, they were a uh, they they were the people that invented the A. Well, Phil, let's not try and and lessen this by saying well, you know you know what somebody, it really you know what it really means it really means and it's the name of this company. No, let's get back to the very basic thing here. Well, is that too, is the basic too many thing. People are, somebody look, invented a, a yeah. word to try to scare the American people into uh, an anti-gun lobby. But, um, uh, you know, we, we let, let, let me say, you're, you're, you've got a kid, and you give the kid a knife, and the kid uses the knife, but he's using it irresponsibly. What do you do? You take the knife away and say you can't use this knife until you can use it responsibly, right? Don't give it to people that are irresponsible or kids. Well, you how know? do we do that? I, I take this one to school. You know? <laughs> uh, no, the... Um, uh, the the thing the thing about guns is that if you take guns By away the way, from folks, the law, folks, we're now going to be have the pleasure of being uh, assaulted. By Phil Meyer's stupidity. Yes. Go ahead. If you take guns away from law-abiding citizens, mm -hmm. 
Who's going to have the guns? Do you think that the criminal is going to turn his gun in? Do you think the criminal yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. is not going to yeah, take yeah. advantage of the fact that he knows the populace is unarmed? Where, most of the people who do these shootings are like kids who bring guns to school or, no. or uh, uh, an adult who decides he doesn't like a bunch of black people up in Buffalo, you know. 60% of homicides are suicides. Uh, gun homicides are suicides. And, you know... No, that, that doesn't mean anything, Phil. Well, it, it means that the uh, number of... I mean, those deaths, people, if they couldn't get a gun, they jump off a bridge. If they couldn't jump off a bridge, uh, they... Well, they do us know, a favor. You know, uh, uh, all I'm saying is is that, that people want to commit suicide. It's a different statistic altogether. No, it's 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 they're m melding that statistic in with other homicides, uh, other you're, gun you're, you're, deaths. You're, you're, but you're making a, a lousy argument here. You know, no. you're just saying, and, oh, and you're oh, because sixty percent co are committing suicide with them doesn't mean that there aren't forty percent who are shooting people up. Okay, more that people die. That doesn't lessen the death. More people statistics. die by other means of besides handguns uh, and, and homicides. Uh, mm -hmm. There are more people that die by knife than by guns. And uh, are that's you sure of that? Uh, where'd you get that yeah, statistic that, it's, from? That's available through uh, uh, the NRA. Uh, no, yeah. it's a, it's a, a, the a, um, I, f I forget which government agency, but it's you know one of the ones that you would believe. Uh, to, to get on to get on the subjects that I wanted to talk well, about. Amazing how you change subjects when you're. Not, well, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was happy. I was happy. I, you know, I could talk about guns, but you know what? I think it turns people off. Um, oh really? You know, I, I had a I had a couple a couple of articles that I wanted to talk about, and you can pick. Why do you think uh, it turns people off, Phil? Yeah. Okay. Uh, doctors are concerned that the he average doesn't even, doesn't even listen to me. Why do you think it turns people off to talk about guns? Because they have their position and nobody is going to change it. You know, they people. No, that's uh, you. Are very I emotional. I'll never change your opinion, but there are certain people out there. Who no, and I won't change whose yours. Opinions I could change. Yeah, Tony's. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, he, he, is that an insult to Tony? Yeah, of course I insult Tony. Yeah. You know, maybe he'll stop calling. Uh, uh, my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. I, I've got a couple of articles. But mm -hmm. uh, back to the train for a second. You know when we were having uh, all of these oil tankers that were going aground mm -hmm. and making environmental disasters? Yeah. What did they do? They created double holes in these tankers. Now... We've had a, a bunch of these train derailments, and we, we just had another uh, toxic spill today. And uh, if, if these, and I believe that there are 1,600 train derailments a year, uh, you know, who, 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 know, who knew that? Uh, so anyway, why couldn't they double line these uh, trains uh, that carry these tox toxic chemicals to contain them. Well, uh, Phil, uh, it's amazing that we have we've been we've been dealing with this problem for many years now. Various spills oh. go all the way back to the one up in Alaska. Remember that big one that we Prudhomme, had? Uh, Prudhomme. Prudhomme. Uh, that was the Prudhomme, that, was, that, Prudhomme was, that Bay. was where the French chef. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Prudhomme Bay, I think it was called. No, it was. Uh, now, what was it? I'm, it's so f long ago that I forget. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, but, but it's amazing that we had Exxon Valdez. Uh, Exxon it was Valdez. the Exxon Valdez. It was the ship, yeah. But yeah. anyway, uh, you know that, that we've had problems since then. And by God, you tonight solved the entire problem with your double bladder system. Why not? Don't you think they've looked into that, Phil? If they did, they're not I using mean, it. Believe me. You ain't the brightest guy in the world. So somebody uh, else, a lot some brighter the, than you think. Some of these scientists could come up with it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, well, anyway, I, I thought that that might be uh, you know a, a, a reasonable thing, but um, there's uh, there's uh, another one that I looked at that I thought was interesting. You know, the doctors are concerned that a average penis length has grown over the last thirty years. 
And you know why? What do you mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. You say they are concerned? Yes. Why so is this? Article, because we're going to have to alter pant sizes? What? Well, no, they're, they're saying that the reason that penises have grown 24% in the last 30 years, the average size was 4.8, and now the average size because is 6. Because we work at it? No, uh, no, they're saying it's due to unhealthy habits, and, and, and not the habits that you're thinking. Wait a minute, unhealthy <laughs> habits. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I, th food. I think about my penis size, and I don't want to brag or anything else, but I will just tell you that I don't think I had bad habits. Well, uh, you, you might have been one of the exceptions, but le they're saying that unhealthy habits like junk food, pollution, sedentary lifestyle are all reasons why the penis is getting bigger. Why would that even be? Hey, it was in the Google News. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, whenever I want to find out the news of the day, I yeah. go to Google News. I turn to Google. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, oh, you know, there was a power outage in New York. JFK went down today. Really? Yeah. So, you know, it can even happen in a democratically run state like New York and not just Texas. Well, you remember we have had very famous power outages here. I, I was there for the 1965 power outage. And I was here for the 19... When was it? 1968? No, there was one in... Wait a minute. There, I was here for... Was I here for one of them? Yeah, I was here for one of them that happened in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was here when there was another one in the 80s. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you know, I, I don't or, know... excuse me. I think... Wait a minute. 90s? Yeah, 90s. Yeah. Yeah. There was one in 90s, in the 90s. Wow. And, and I was stuck. What I had was uh, at the office I was working at for my friend Steve Gruber, and he had mm -hmm. this door, and the door had an electric lock on it so that if you wanted to let somebody in, you could buzz them in, you know, one of those right. things. Well, try and get out of those if the electricity has gone out. Well, you know how I met you? It was because you had an electrical issue. Um, you were uh, WPLJ. And uh, your garage door, I believe it was in your place in 14th Street, your mm -hmm. garage door, you couldn't get your car out that morning because uh, the electricity uh, went out uh, powering the garage even, door. I don't even remember it. But then again, I don't so, remember you. So. Yeah, yeah. so you put out a call for a listener to give you a ride home. Mm -hmm. So I called. I did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the, the rest is Those history. Those were the days when you could say, you know, I want a listener to take me home. Anybody want to come do it? And and you just do it. Today, you wouldn't even think of doing that. No, no. You know, you, you, you wonder yeah. what kind of weirdo is going to pick you up, you know. Well, you just found out. <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Now, if you want to talk about shootings, I guess uh, there there are there was a second uh, shooting in Los Angeles of another Jewish uh, person in the Pico uh, uh, area, Pico Robinson. I thought area. they'd never get around to us, you know. Yeah, I no. thought they'd never get around to us. No, they were they were hitting uh, the Chinese for a while. You remember old ladies, 90-year-old ladies getting knocked down for no reason, sucker punched? Yeah, here in New pushed, York. Pushed into in New York. subway yeah. trains. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, uh, I, I have no idea what would make someone want to have well, a lot of Well, a lot of the pushings into subway tra uh, tracks and so on here sure. is really uh, uh, crazy people. I mean, just yeah. absolutely nutty, crazy people who just decide to push somebody. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's not as though it's a criminal element who's sitting around saying, well, let's see who we can push in the tracks today. You know? well, now, you say crazy people, and uh, you know a lot of the homeless have uh, mental issues. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. Drug, mental issues. Well, not the, necessarily drug-induced. I, I had an idea to... Uh, to oh, here we go. Here comes another one of those great ideas no, again that I, nobody, I else, ask question. nobody else thought of. I had an idea okay. To, okay. Build, to deal with these spills on the trains, which was the double bladder uh, cars. Do you have any solutions 
for uh, the uh, the mental uh, issues that are going on in the homeless. Because if you look, they were saying that at the airports, and we mentioned JFK, but in Chicago airport, the homeless are camping there. And, you know, many of them, uh, you know, have... Well, hell, have, you know, we've, we're, we're building our build. you know, we're, they're doing our building. You know, they're doing yeah. the, the, all the stuff that's... I'm, I'm having breathing problems from it. It's gotten so bad with all the dust yeah. and everything. But they put up this uh, these uh, things around the building. They're about the yeah the, scaffolds. The, I think sca- they call a scaffold. Well, it's to, what it's supposed to do is if they're working above and they drop a, a bolt or something, it's not going to hit a person. It's just going to hit this you know this skirt oh, around so the building. It, it's like for the Golden Gate Bridge where people jump and it catches them in a net. Well, no, this isn't a net. This is like it's actually a sca- you know a, a platform yeah. around the building. And since, ever since they put it in, the homeless who have been pushed out of the subways by the way, right, uh, have decided to come sit under that scaffold. All, right. all the homeless in New York? Well, not the all the scaffold. homeless in New York, a, a, a number of them. And they yeah. they bring couches with them. I mean, they're literally couches and chairs and things like that. And um, it is, a, I, I have now come to refer to that platform right. as a homeless shelter. Well, hey, you're because doing your part. It, it, because And it does. It attracts them because it is shelter. You know, especially when it's raining and snowing and things like that, you got this shelter. Years ago, they used to sleep on the subway grates because I guess the steam used to come up and it was warm. They did. And uh, now, I you know, I guess they look for over overhead things. I you know, it's cold out there. How can these people uh, live like that? Well, I mean, the subways are warmer, I believe. Yeah. If you go down there, they're warmer. It's not they don't they don't heat the subways, do they? Do they? I don't remember. I don't think so. I they you know, when I lived in New York, they didn't even air condition in, uh, the cars. Oh, they the don't air condition the subways at all. No, you know, and they could have. They could have come up with a scheme to do it. Um, yeah. But uh, no, they they the subway cars, however, are uh, mm-hmm. are air conditioned. Yeah. So yeah. You know, that's true. They, they used to have uh, light bulbs in the subways that turned in an opposite way. So you know how you screw in a light bulb and it's, and it's, yeah, count, and it's yeah, clockwise? Yeah. Well, to screw in a light bulb in the subway, they turn counterclockwise. So people so you would st- steal them. And use them somewhere else. <laughs> right. So the thread was the opposite way. That's exactly. A, I didn't know that. See, Phil, yeah. I learned something from you today. Well, you never try to steal a bulb. <laughs> nothing, nothing really useful, but, you know... I, I, it's okay. Yeah. So right. you, you learn you learn a thing or two. Yeah. So uh, today, uh, uh, in Berkeley, mm-hmm. uh, they seized 19 million in illegal cannabis from a warehouse. Twelve thousand pounds. Twelve thousand pounds is 19 million dollars. I remember a pound was what 250. Well, bucks? here's the, here's the reason why they, people say why is there still legal marijuana say in California? Yeah. Or soon they're going to say it about New York. And the answer is because they can sell it cheaper than mm-hmm. these dispensaries are. Because the dispensaries are being charged a tax and a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, you just can't get it. You could get it cheaper from a dealer. I have a friend who has a friend who's a dealer over in New Jersey. And they've a got pot over there. It's fr- no, but it's, it's, you got pot like crazy over there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, it, it, you got pot like crazy over there. And yet he goes out and he buys it from, uh, you know, a dealer. And I said, why do you buy it from a dealer? He says, because it's cheaper, Hmm. you know? And if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. You know, a a dealer can probably sell it to you cheaper than you can get it at a store because you're going to get that tax added to it and all the other stuff that goes along with it. Uh, plus the fact that the store is going to up the price on something. Let me. I'm going to tell you something though. This is yeah. Today I got a, uh, a an email, and it's yeah. it's the best piece of news I've gotten this year. All right. Okay. Uh, from Paramount Plus. Okay. Yeah. Recently, Paramount Plus announced that they were just merging Paramount Plus with Showtime, so wow. it'll be known as Paramount Plus Showtime. Okay, uh-huh. 
Uh, and the reason they're doing it is they're both owned by Viacom, and why not do it? And they feel that th this may create a better situation than just Showtime alone. They sent me a note today. Dear customer, your plan price has changed. Okay. Now, you're expecting the, the news you're going to get is... It's going up. It's going up. Right. Great news. As of 2-16-23, the price of your Paramount Plus Premium with Showtime plan has decreased from a hundred uh, from $14.99 a month or $149.99 a year to $11.99 a month or $119 a year. Now, that's the Paramount Plus, uh, or is that the Showtime it's or Paramount both? Plus with Showtime. Okay, because I have Paramount Plus, but I don't have Showtime. Well, no, if you have Paramount Plus, it is now just para that you will find Showtime is available to you on the Paramount Plus. Oh, well, it's available to me on the Amazon thing, too. But What do you mean uh, on the Amazon thing? Uh, well, I have a Fire uh, uh, Fox. Or I have YouTube TV. That's what I have, YouTube TV. So it's it's available to me on that. Well, I, 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 would get, I wouldn't get any of these things through those third parties. I would get them, I would get them directly from the company. Well, I I can never remember what the passwords are and uh you know like I have Hulu and I've been paying for it for a while, but I haven't turned it on. I don't remember the password and uh, I don't remember who's billing me for what. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh you know, if you have Paramount Plus now, you probably just if you go to it, it probably has Showtime. They have it on the list there on the side. So Showtime, okay. you go there and it'll probably let you watch Showtime now. Yeah, well, uh, that's that's pretty cool. And you were probably uh, paying you were probably paying uh, one hundred nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents a year for the for the. Uh, for well, they they got me for a dollar ninety nine a month for two or three months. Yeah, I did that one too. And it went yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, it's it's either six bucks or eight bucks uh, no, it's, a month. It's uh, it's what uh, what does it say here? It's um, well, you said it was eleven, but eleven uh, ninety nine a month. Well, it was was cheaper than that when I got it. Yeah. But I mean for without the showtime. Then I added yeah. showtime and it it came up to $149. Now, I guess they're sending out something to some of these people saying your price is going up because they just bought Paramount Plus only. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's uh, that's what I have is Paramount Plus only. Yeah. My daughter actually works for Paramount Plus. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, thank her for me. All right, I certainly will. You know, uh, the, but that's good news. You know, it, it, usually they combine and they give you this other thing, and then they don't even they don't even yeah. lower your price. Well, you know? talking about prices, Sirius Satellite, they've come down now. Uh, they try to get me for six or seven bucks a month. Now they've come down to five bucks a month. But I've decided, in in reverence to you, I'm going to wait until they pay me. To take it, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know? let's see that. Just hold that up. Uh, it says five dollars a month for how long? Yeah, for twelve for how months. Long? For twelve months. So, so it's sixty dollars a year. Now, I have a friend that has a lifetime thing. He paid two hundred bucks. You know, I don't know when. Yeah. Uh, a long time ago. Yeah, I don't think they have that deal anymore. Yeah. Well, but I, I mean, but he he's grandfathered into it. So yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, at one yeah. point, I think they tried to say to people, well, you know, that's limited. Yeah. You know, but it wasn't limited. No, yeah. it was anybody who wanted it. Yeah. Oh, you can fog a mirror. No, it's $200. Yeah. Hey, let me bring yeah. some of these people in who are, are waiting to. Oh, uh, I, I also wanted to tell you, I was uh, yeah. chatting with my IT guy the other night, the other day, mm -hmm. and I uh, asked him, you know, uh, about the Mac Studio. Mm -hmm. And if it would run certain programs, and when I, and when I told him, uh, when I told him that uh, you were the one that recommended the Mac Studio, he said that uh, his high school uh, he missed so many classes listening to your show, and uh, that he he's a major fan, and he couldn't. Uh, he, when I told him about the Ramble and uh, mm -hmm. so forth, he he immediately. Uh, went on and signed up as a, a subscriber. So uh, subscriber to what? To your uh, to, to to you on YouTube. Well, you don't have to subscribe to me. Yeah, to well, if you're a subscriber, you get another an, another 
person. You know, you've got what? Thir- uh, uh, oh, 1, if they, they, oh, if they, yeah, if they want to be, you know, if they want to subscribe to my channel, yeah, sure, right. Be, you so, know, which uh, would be nice. Uh, he was so happy when he heard that uh, that you were still doing uh, what you're doing. Uh, you you made a guy very happy. Boy, he has no life, right? No, actually, he's probably one of the smartest guys in the room. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, hey, hello to uh, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. What did, what does the T-shirt say today? It says, I ate some pie, and it was delicious. <laughs> okay. Uh, and hello to, uh, oh, wait a minute. He just lost his picture there. Brian Sigmund is with us, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Brian. I love you, and I love all of are you, your are you, people. Are you, are you sending that money to, to me? Oh, you see all my drug money? <laughs> well, you must be a real bad yeah. drug dealer because they all look like dollar bills. Yeah. Well, you, know, you know, it's funny. It's a lot of $2 bills. I'm one of those assholes who um, goes to the bank and buys a hundred. I do, too. I do, do, too. Yeah. I use them as tips. You know, when you get your car washed, uh, you, you got a baggage guy. Instead of giving him a five, I'm so cheap, I give him a two. And you know what? They like it. Uh, people people love two dollar bills. They think they're special. You know what? It, it, it really it's it's a nice kitschy thing. I, I'm I went on a cruise one time and I got a stack of two dollar bills. I swear to God, this freaking thing. It was a, it was about a ten day cruise. I ordered the same drink every time I went to the bar. And if you ever been on a cruise, it's like it's like a meal line. You have your your ID card and they scan it. Nobody ever tips. Every time I got a drink, I put a $2 bill on the table. And I will say by the third day, as I would approach the bar, my drink would be on the table. Yeah. Because I was the $2 bill guy. There's something about $2 bills. People love that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know about it. But what? why is it that, what, what was the old saying? It's He's queer as a $2 bill. $3 bill. $3 bill. Oh, $3, three dollar dollar bill. bill? Oh, okay. Oh. See this? Look at that stack. That's a stack of twos. So could I go down to my bank and ask for $2 bills and they would have yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Too, but isn't that so funny? You're, see, you're like the... You're like the only other asshole on the planet that buys two dollar bills and goes out and spends them. I'd love it. But do they? See, have you ever? I gone, even have the the, the wrapper, the two dollar wrapper. Yeah, well, have you uh, ever gone in to get the two dollar bills, and they said they're we're right all, here? Wait a And they've said we're all out of them. No, they order them. They no, they never yeah, have yeah. them. You so you order. you order it, and within a day or two, they they have them, and uh, they they call me up and they say, oh, we got your two dollar bills, and uh, yeah. Uh, I also uh, sometimes when I uh, send uh, like a survey to a customer and I ask them to, you know, fill out the survey uh, Mm -hmm. on the store, I'll include a two dollar bill to say thank you. Oh, really? Yeah, because it it ups the response. And it's not necessarily that you'll get a better response. But who used to do that? I think Nielsen used to do that. Yeah, they. Uh, that's true. I because I was a yeah. Nielsen. Uh, and they, the I, first time I, they got a hold of you, they said, "If you'll fill this out for us, keep yeah, the two bucks. Here's something. two dollars. Was here's two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that for a couple of years. Yeah. So yeah, I had I had a, um, a people meter. I think it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. That is fantastic. I. I I honestly, I thought I was the only asshole in my area. <laughs> oh no, I'm another asshole. Oh, oh, oh! You mean it does that? That did two dollar bills, and here I was, I was walking among giants. I mean, I, I hate people claiming they're assholes. When, what am I? You know, chopped <laughs> chicken liver? What? You know? Yeah. Oh, that's too funny. That is absolutely too yeah. funny. Oh, good show. Good show. Good show. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I like two dollar bills. I, I I just think that they're special. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you feel that got, way, Phil. I got tons of like yeah. Phil, the man who has uh, who has solved the uh, uh, the uh, uh, train yeah, spill the problem, problem with yeah. Let's get let's get. Here's what we do. Here's the idea, Phil. You didn't think of this. You thought just get a bladder or something. 
why not uh, get these uh, weather balloons and 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 fill them with all the all the smoke and stuff? Well, the problem is Biden will shoot them down, and then you'll have a spill in other areas. So so why don't we get to the real reason that the train crashed? The NTSB today released a oh Kevin's got two dollar bills too. Release. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm an asshole too. I'm an asshole too. Yeah. Hey, he's joining the club. So, so this this whole like, god damn, we're, we're this this group is full of assholes. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just ask you a quick question in case I decide to go, in case I decide to go to the bank and do this. You go in and you ask them for two dollar bills, and when they say they say they'll order them, yes. And say? so I think I have to buy two hundred dollars worth, which is a hundred. Uh, $2 bills. Yeah. Oh, you have to get two hundred dollars worth. Yeah, I think that's okay. the minimum that they can order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alex, Alex. So, so you just you just go to the bank, and some banks are crazy. I, in fact, um, it even depends on the branch. I have this one branch that I go to, and it's this woman Bonnie, and she goes, "Sure, yeah, we just order it from because you know the armored truck companies." Yeah. That, that go and and service all these these banks well they're part of what what's like a distributor like a like a plumbing supply house will be a distributor from from the industry to the the, the supply to then mm -hmm. the contractors then to the you know it's sort of the same thing and if, if you just get someone who goes yeah i'll put an order in for you and call you when it's in you, you'll you'll get that but yeah you'll have to order hundreds at a time like when i ordered 50 cent pieces and i had to get 500 dollars with the 50 cent pieces that was a fucking mistake and <laughs> no it was it, it was as heavy as an anvil i gotta tell you and there was a one silver fucking coin in all of them but i did oh, it on to that yeah but 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 the thing is is that yeah, you get them and then you use them as tips I use them as tips, and people love that shit. Like when I go to a bar and I just throw a two dollar bill on the table, people love that stuff. It's cute. Brian, yes. I had a friend of mine that was a printer, and uh, and he could make a pad. And I used to get uh, fifty one dollar bills, brand new sequential numbers, and he would pad them for me. Uh, <laughs> so you know, they put them under pressure and they put some glue on the edges. And I would take the pad, and first of all, I would give it to people around Christmas time as, as, as gifts. Then the other thing I would do is you take the pad, let's say you go into 7-Eleven and you order a Slurpee, and the guy says, oh, that'll be $1, please. So you pull it off the pad, and you hand it to him, and he says, I'm not taking that. <laughs> so, you know, it, well, it was it was always a lot of fun. Yeah, but people didn't think it was real if it was, on a, if it was padded. Certainly, this is one of the more interesting discussions. Well, that's that why had. I want to get to something different. Yeah. Well, I... <laughs> well you know, hey, uh, Alan never pulls out a bill. So, you know, <laughs> except he paid for uh, dinner the other night. <laughs> I paid for dinner. Where were a you lot. eating? Arby's? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Sushi. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that much up for Phil. Yeah, no, we had a nice sushi dinner. Oh, hey, yeah. Alex. Yeah. I, I've noticed that there are two types of people when I've gotten in the two dollar bill business like Phil and I. There are two types of people. There are people who go Wait, oh, we're me. back to two dollar bills this? again. We were just, we were done, Brian. Just, just let me finish. Just let me finish. There there are two types of people. There are people who go, Oh neat. This is neat. This is cool. There's that. And then there's my buddy Steve. He sent me to the liquor store one time. And to pick up beer, and when I came back, I went to give him change, and I threw a ten dollar, I threw a two dollar bill in his change, and he goes, "What the fuck is this?" And I went, eh, it's, a, "It's a two dollar bill, like you know, like I thought I was being oh, cute." Shit. And he goes, "People don't goes, think it's real." Well, no, no, no. no, no. He, he goes, he goes, I don't want that shit. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, I was confused. I go, "What are you talking about?" And he goes, "No, no, no, don't give me that. Don't, don't give me that." I said, "Steve, what, what's your problem?" He goes, "He goes." Oh, because then I go to the store and I give them a two dollar bill, and then they want to talk about. It. He was a complete introvert, and he yeah. goes, "Oh, then they want to talk about it, and and then it's a whole fucking thing. I don't want anything to do with it." Like there are people out there who are annoyed by the two dollar bills, like annoyed, and then are there are people now? out there. 
who think it's fucking cute. So it, it, it's a grab bag out there. And the Susan B. Coin, Anthony the too. One dollar, I'll try this a third coin. time. Yeah, the Susan B. Anthony coin. Yeah, I'll try this a third Same time. Thing. But, the fuck is this? Yeah. Uh, 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 Charlie. Yeah, I, I just wanted to mention, Brian was talking about tipping on the cruises. Uh, every, when I was going on cruises, you always had to sign the sheet uh, every time you ordered something with your card. So I would add a 15 or 20 percent tip to whatever they had on the chart. Most people did not go. I never had to bring any money. You you also tip at the end of the cruise. Or uh, before the cruise, Phil. Well, yeah, you know, but yeah. Uh, yeah, there's an envelope, and you have to put in quite a bit. You know, I always tip the server at the in, in the. Yeah, back I always tip the server too on the. How cruise. many here? How many here? Watch um, uh, Below Deck Mediterranean. Oh, I do. I do. How do you like the tips at the end of those cruises? Oh, 20 grand, 18 <laughs> grand. And, and, and you know what? And if they don't get the 20 grand or the 18 grand, they, they diss the people that they just work for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got 12 grand. They're just so upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But these are people who rent a whole yacht, you know. But they get half off because uh, of the TV and they, show. And they only rent it for like three days or something. Yeah. You know, so that's like $15,000 tip for three days. Yeah. But uh, uh, normally those yachts would be like $150,000 and they're paying like seventy five or something. Well, I, I, I Shecky liked that show and we were doing a little research into it. And it looks like. Uh, they don't. Uh, they don't pay the full fare on the boat. No, they because don't because they're being videotaped for a TV right. show. For crying out loud! Yeah, I think they pay half. Well, supposedly those yachts for like three days go for about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you think the producers of the show uh, uh, arranged the tip or or a good part of it? That that's I don't. Part of I don't their... know about that, but I'll tell you this: I do know is that there's a whole level of sweets on that ship you never see. You know why? Because <clears throat> it's the people that are That's doing where the they're stuff. editing the video and, right. and and storing the video and keeping the video cameras and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... So, uh, uh, can we get back to the train? I started talking shut about... Shut up. It, now we're talking about below-deck <laughs> Mediterranean, damn it. Yeah. Cut me off. Now, who's the best captain? <laughs> I like I like Captain Sandy. Uh, yeah, I, you know, she's a good leader. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I like the guy from Australia. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he's pretty good, too. Well, the guy People from Australia like is on the Australian version of that, although Captain Sandy wound up on the other version of it because they, the the uh, captain of the other ship got sick, and so they brought her in to take over for him. So it was kind of like crossing over between the two below-deck shows. Yeah. It was that Captain Glenn? They got I sick? can't remember now, but he, he had to yeah. quit because he would come down with some kind of yeah. thing which he had to attend to. You know. I, I think they display really good leadership skills, and I learned from that show. Uh, Actually, yeah. I, I enjoy that show. I mean, Shecky, my friend Shecky enjoys that show. You know, you yeah. wouldn't think, that, you know, you'd think Shecky would be circumspect about it. No, he loves it. I love it. Yeah. And I found out he loved it and I went, Wow. Nobody yeah. here nobody else here watches Below Deck, do they? What a bunch of losers. And also sailing right. sailing yacht below deck is a good one too. Well, I don't watch all the below decks. I like the below deck Mediterranean because I like yeah. the Mediterranean. Yeah. Because you know, it's so gorgeous and wonderful. But yes, Jeff, what were you gonna say? Oh yeah, there's uh, some people in the um, northern part of uh, where they they go like not to Russia but uh, Black Sea uh, countries that are right up there Scandinavian they, countries the small little boats bring in and stop every like five hours or something like that they stop they take off products they bring in other products so they're commercial properties but at the same time, they get people coming in and out. And it's hmm. quite different. The reason yeah, I there's also those German river cruises yeah. where they, they have those uh, boats and you know maybe 150 passengers. I think the reason why Jeff is talking so low 
is because he's in a house with other people, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. turn up his volume. Well, he, he, <laughs> I, we got enough problems just keeping him on. Be thrown out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, now. Oh, hey, uh, Alan, you wanted to change uh, the yeah. subject. So uh, let's talk about what the NTSB That's good, Alan. Now, is well, talking about. <laughs> let's talk about what the NTSB is talking about, why this train possibly derailed. Yeah. The, the latest thing, I heard this on Fox News, actually, Phil. Hmm. But uh, it, it must it's be actually, true. It's actually all over the place. So, um,. The they think the brakes failed, and that's why the train derailed. And they had a lot of problems with the old style uh, train brakes. They were hydraulic or something like that. And the and and a company that builds these cars came out with electric controlled brakes, and it worked so well that Obama made it a law, and all the companies were changing over, except. Uh, by the time Norfolk Southern, which is the, the one that rolled over in Ohio. Norfolk? Yeah, Norfolk, right. And, um, by the time they they, that it, they got around to getting to this, this set of trains that, that, that collided, Trump had changed the law. Let's oh, get it. Trump. Why don't you blame, blame Reagan? He, he, it's no, his... it, Reagan had nothing to do with this. Trump, uh, Trump canceled another smart law, and they are now... In the process, the NTSB, the, the last three or four big train accidents are because Norfolk Southern didn't have to change the brakes. Where's Brian with his list when you need him? <laughs> oh, there's more. Trump's going to be indicted. Oh, yeah. In Georgia. In Where'd Georgia. Alex, where'd Alex go? Uh, he, he was, he had enough. <laughs> 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 had enough of with what? <laughs> enough of that conversation. <laughs> oh, you, you you don't want to talk about the train anymore? Ah, oh, it's been talked about. Not you, oh, Alex. Let me see here. Shut uh, up for let me a see here. Oh, oh, he's got the uh, monopoly money. Uh -huh. uh, uh, let that, me see that's, here. I'm, compared I'm, to two dollar bills, that's called fuck you money. Uh, yeah, well, let's, uh, you can get laid with that amount of money, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, well, every every month I I take out four hundred dollars in hundred dollar bills and put them aside here, mm -hmm. so that if I need them for something, I can use them. See, Those are, I did all... are you a prepper? Bills. What are, are you are you a prepper, Alex? No, are you prepping no, for I... the uh, for the big one when uh, you can't get to your ATM and uh, that's the only thing that'll get you any food and water. No, and the reason I do this is because I use this as my, you know, buy stuff money. Like I bought this uh, this new uh, Macintosh uh, Mac uh, Studio, Studio using hundred dollar bills that I had. You know. Didn't you run into a problem where one vendor wouldn't take the hundred dollar bills? That's right. <laughs> What so was her name? Him, so you went to the bank next door and got two dollar bills. Right, got two dollar bills and gave it to him. Now here, here are two people in the waiting room. Well, there's Ray. Okay, so we know who Ray. We know is. him. We know Ray. Okay, and now there's a Layla Shraft. Now, I, I don't think that's for real, but I can do it, and I can be ready to just hang up on them. If All right. It, uh, if it, Where's your seven probably, second delay? Sounds hmm? like another Republican. Yeah. What'd you say? Where's your seven second delay? I don't have a seven second delay. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Now, is this going to be a Layla? Okay. I'm ready to go here. I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, 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 let me see here. Uh, are you there, Layla? Layla, are you there? Be, be ready. Huh? <laughs> Oh, let's see, uh, I, I got rid of her. Yeah. What the hell? Remove. So, did you care about the train brake thing? Mm hmm. You, you know what the brakes are made out of on the on the uh, cable cars in San Francisco? The, they're what are they? What is? They're what, wooden blocks. Well, I don't think anymore. Not well, anymore. Not anymore. That, that, times like usual. Yeah, they they. Uh, I remember. That. No, I remember they were they were wooden blocks when I was a kid. But I think when they refit all the uh, all the cable cars, because remember the, there was a point at which they had to replace the cables, 
in case well people... that's that there's the cable cars uh th there's the street cars and those uh, connect to a cable uh the cable cars connect but they use this big wooden this this metal no, here here uh, here's how the here's a simple way the, the, the it, wooden brakes were when you were a kid because they had just come out with those right <laughs> no, I remember them, and I, you know, I've lived in San Francisco since '74. Well, the thing was that that the that people don't know this about the cable cars that how they work is that there's a huge cable that goes all the way down the whole line, and is literally rotating. Although I think I don't know how many different cables, but I think there was huge cables, and what happens is they would grab on to the cable. That's how the cable car worked. It would grab onto the cable and then the cable would pull them up the hill. And then when you wanted to stop, you put on the brakes, but you'd release the attachment to the cable. And it still works that way. But I, I do believe they replaced the wood blocks with something else. If I'm no, wrong. there's still they wood. Use... There's still there's wood? still wood? Yep. Wow. Yeah. But, and I used to take those when I was I'm a kid. Raised. Uh, my, we we lived in North Beach, and my mother would have us walk down Filbert Street, down to the uh, subway, uh, not the subway, the uh, the uh, cable car, and then right. we would just grab the cable car, and many times you just grabbed it while it was moving because they moved very hung slowly. on the side, and then you would stand on there's a platform you could stand. I, can you still do that? I don't think they allow that anymore. Do I don't they? know. I haven't ridden in a cable car in so many years. Yeah. What's that? I, I haven't. Have you asked him? Uh, hanging on to the side, can you still? Yeah, do you it? can still hang on the side. Yeah. Well, you can still hang on the side. Yeah. Okay. I just saw. I was just there a couple of days ago. I saw people doing it. Yep. Oh, okay. They actually ran off and ran off and hung on the other side when things stopped for a couple of minutes. That's called a Hold Chinese fire drill. I to grill. put my money away. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that in high school, you know. Yeah, yeah me too. Up. I already hear Phil again. Remember we used to get out of the car and run around and switch seats? That's stop. right, yeah. For no reason whatsoever. Anyway. I, but they always left me there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Trump is going to be indicted what? by George Oh, Trump. oh, write it down. Write what down? He mentioned Trump. He's going to be indicted, but for what? Uh, well, in the news today, uh, Georgia... Um, no, no it, he isn't going to be indicted for anything yet. They haven't no, said they, that. They interviewed yeah. uh, many, many people during this. They said uh, that some of the people, and it's it, it, a lot of people believe Berger. that it is, it's, uh, what's his name, Giuliani, uh, that, that uh, they believe that it, one or more people uh, perjured themselves before that jur that uh, grand right. jury, and they're going to charge them also. Uh, Alex has uh, Trump testified before that committee? No. No. Then, then how can he perjure himself if he hasn't testified? No, but he, he, but that's not it. They also said they're going to come down with some indictments, and yeah. the indictments may well include right. your your pal. I thought the indictments were for perjury. And, and, no, and, and no, the and, indictments. No, the indictment. They said they had certain people they re felt perjured themselves and right. are thinking about charging with perjury. But that's yeah. not the main charges. You know, right. those are ancillary charges. Right. So right. Your, your boy Trump, I think, is going to, in Georgia, is going to be indicted. Yep. Uh, the grand jury has, has uh, come down with there was no widespread fraud, voter fraud in 2020 in Georgia. Just another... <clears throat> Nobody but Republican people like Phil say there were. And the rest of the world, including the Supreme Court of the land, says there was nothing. They Nobody were giving people, has proven it. Alan, they were giving people $2 bills to vote for Biden. That's <laughs> where I got that $2 bill from. Is, is it against the law to pay somebody to vote for you? Yes. I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Damn it. Then I, I, I couldn't win. Especially um, in Texas. Especially in Texas, yeah. But uh, you know, I mean, I think I think Trump's going to get indicted. I think, and when they start coming, they're going to start. It's going to be a cascade. Absolutely. Okay, it's going to be the J January sixth indictments, and the uh, the one in Florida is that he tried to to uh, uh, force the election there. You know, Georgia. Yeah, tried to force Georgia. people to do it. 
Fellas, I only need 11,000 votes. 11,624 votes. Find me. Find me 11,000 yeah, votes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find me. Yeah. Oh, he didn't really say that. He did. I heard Oh, him. yeah. I, I, yeah, I know he did. Oh, I you're being just, sarcastic. I just wanted to stir. That, 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 oh. that was the most pathetic. Absolutely the most pathetic. Uh, 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 there yeah. was a suitcase underneath a table, and it had 11,000 votes in it, and he was just asking them to find it. That's he all. knew it was there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I lost my votes. Just... I left them there. And, uh, yeah. yeah it's oh, such a gangster move. Oh, Come yeah. on, find me 11,000 votes. Oh, he sounded like hey, a gangster he did it on 1960. the call. He sound, it sounded like he sounded like a gangster on the call. Do you know yeah. who was it that just recently wrote a book about Trump? Yeah, and and no, there, no, there, and he was um, a prosecutor or something for the city of New York or whatever, and he said he never came up against anybody that most closely resembled the mob than Trump. The whole book, that's just about his a whole, minute. just his whole demeanor and the way he handled his businesses and so on. We're absolutely mob-like, you know. Yeah, it just published a few days ago. Yeah. If I remember. Uh, the whole, I think the whole book, that's the whole premise of the book. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that he, oh. he was a major mobster, basically. Yep. Uh, On his own. Yeah. Yep. Mark, his name was uh, Mark Pomerantz, who resigned from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office uh, last year. Wrote He had pursued a racketeering case against the former president. Wow. Wow. Uh, hmm. Well. Don't you know? He'll, he'll, he's going to have to give up one of his private jets pretty soon to pay legal bills. Oh, really? He'll be flying on Air Force One in uh, another year and a half or so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to federal prison on board. Can you be president from federal prison? Is there a law against that? There was a guy who was mayor of Washington, D.C. in prison. Yeah, yeah there you <laughs> he, go. Oh, actually, he won an election, I think, from, from the prison. Marion uh, Barry. Marion Barry. Yeah. Barry. Yeah. So maybe yeah. you could be president from prison. Uh, he could be president of the, of the uh, prison yard. Mexico <laughs> has offered to build the wall around the prison for free. <laughs> See? For free. So they are going to pay for the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for Trump yeah, that's right. Phil, imagine, Phil, imagine one of his cellmates is a Mexican. Bad hombre. <laughs> <laughs> How he would last five days in general population. Somebody would kill him. They're gonna if if he ends up in prison. He'd be running that prison. Yeah, yeah right. I doubt it. On his knees. Yeah, I, really, that's I, right. With his I get the best ass yeah. in the air on his knees. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he'll be there. He'll be waiting for <laughs> Phil to come in and pass him a two dollar bill. You, you guys are so cocky. So cocky. He'll be called President Soap Dropper. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, in the cake, you put an IOU instead of a nail file. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Tony. Yeah. This is This is when you didn't pay me for those drugs, you fuck. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Don't so, wait for the check. Don't yeah. Wait. Yeah. So, uh, what else is new? Oh. Uh, let me see here. Oh, uh, Faye is now over COVID. Oh, good. Uh, she oh, took nice. the, uh, uh, pol um, what's a, uh, oh, the one that you're in. Uh, Paxlovid. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Paxlovid. Yeah. But you know what? It's two Paxlovid and one Pax Redesivir. Paxlovid. No, we didn't do Redesivir. It, they come in the, they come in the, uh, card. The oh, you know what? Oh, oh, you, oh, 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 you know why? Why? Uh, because I am, because of my age, and oh, because I had some right. slight kidney problems. That's right. They didn't give the radisivir. They just gave okay. the, yeah. Yeah, she got 18, uh, well, she got, uh, she was taking six pills a day, three in the morning, three 12 hours afterwards, mm -hmm. and uh, two of them were Paxlovid, and one was radisivir, and so she was six pills a day for five days is 30 pills. And today... Uh, she finished the course and she took a test and she was negative. Oh, of course, it makes you negative. The latest thing is, latest thing is, I could have cancer again. Yeah, yeah. This is a new kind. 
Oh, no, I went to my I went to my neurologist and he gave me a blood test and then he found that a certain number had spiked so he's sending me to a oncologist her hematologist uh, to check it out but he says, what kind of cancer is this does this have anything to do with the lymph nodes and the things that they didn't want to see you about six months uh, ago well it's not the lymph nodes in this case it's uh, it's uh, uh, we don't know but it could just be it could be uh, what's uh, uh, not normal. lymphoma the other thing um, non Hodgkin's lymphoma. No, 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 not that. Uh, uh, hold hold on a second, I'll tell you. Penile cancer. Uh, it's, um, oh, hold on. Oh, God. Breast this cancer? Is ridiculous. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Here we go. Uh, Anal it's, cancer. Uh, uh, no, it's uh, melanoma. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Which is skin cancer. Which I've okay. looked at the symptoms and I don't have any of them. Okay. Oh, so and my, and my doctor spots? said there's only a 10% chance that it's something bad. It's something concerning. Okay. If they get that melanoma, melanoma early, they can remove it. You know, no, that's, that's, a, that, that's a skin. That's a, I, yeah. No, they, that's a, no, this is melanoma. No. It's a, not, not a, a mala, what do they call it? Uh, melanoma? No, right. Mel, me, the worst type of, mel, of skin cancer is called melanoma. Mel, melanoma, melanoma, but this is, uh, let me see here. Melanoma. This is, uh, this is me, me, myelan, myeloma, excuse me, myeloma. Oh, myeloma. Myeloma. Is different. myeloma. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That means you touched a Republican in the well, past. Or it could be, it could be I have lymphoma, one of those things, you know. What the hell? They're all, they're all, they're all treatable. You know, I so, love I love how Phil gets on the show with all his conspiracy theories, and when people talk about Trump and the Republicans, he rolls his eyes and moves his head around like we're because all because you're dumb. a broken record, Alan. Uh, you're one to talk. I learned it from you. <laughs> yeah. Now, kids, let's quit arguing without substance. Let's quit arguing. What about you, though? What? What, not, what about, I'm rubber, you're glue. Yeah, I heard that one, Alan. <laughs> you call a flat leaver soon. <laughs> Dicks and stones. So now yeah. they got now they got rumors running around about the balloons that they were really flying saucers, UFOs. <laughs> That's what I heard. Christ. Yeah, and and uh, I thought it, you know if they were, if they're just by accident, we had shot down an actual UFO. I guess our world is going to come to an end very soon. You know, oh, yeah. UFOs. Uh, oh. you know, uh, they, they probably were UFOs, you know, uh, like I said, there, there he is. There was well, one of they, the wait a minute. Uh, technically, they are UFOs. They're unidentified flying objects. We don't know what a they lot are. Of, there's, there's been a lot more lately. Government's not going to tell us what it's, they it's, were. Our radar so anyway, to finish what I was saying, I have to go to the doctor in a week for this, this oncologist, hematologist to yeah. tell me what he thinks. You know, and we're going for a consult is what it's called, mm -hmm. you know, because basically because my doctor, here's what happens. What happens, my doctor doesn't want to get sued if he's wrong. That's so right. he's passing off the blame to somebody else. You take the ball. <laughs> you take the ball. So, but, you know, in the but, old but, day, but, a doctor would say, yeah, there's only about a 10% chance. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll take it again soon and see how it is then. And if it continues to happen, then we'll do something about it. But no, they don't even do that anymore. How about this scenario? How about he sends you to the specialist, the oncologist, and they find that you actually have cancer and it's treatable in its early stages, and you caught it early, and you get some treatment, and you live for another 20 years. How about you take two aspirin and call <clears throat> in the morning? He told me to take 30, the doctor. <laughs> That well, like well, you know, I'd say it goes to, good with a cup of coffee, Tony. But I'd say to the doctor, if he actually, said to me, look, uh, you You're know, you've got news. it, it's treatable. Uh, yeah. We can probably, the survival rate on this is maybe 20 years. And I'm going, That's good. okay, well, at my age, it's good to know I've now got another 20 years. You know, I mean, I just, it's ridiculous. I mean, I don't feel Sounds like I don't the guy that says, no, uh, after this operation, can I, will I still, uh, can I still play the piano? And uh, what, what does the guy say? Uh, uh, did you play the piano before? And the guy says no. I don't think that's exactly how the exactly joke goes. Exactly how it goes, well, you yeah. Know, 
You know, my doctor told me, because he knows I have two labs, Alex. He says, you got nothing to worry about. Go go adopt another dog. My brother's like, don't give him any ideas. Why Why did the doctor say go? Uh... Well, I was, I said, when I first, you know, when you hear the noise, he says, well, how long do I got? I told him, he says, no, you're not going anywhere. So, yeah. he says, you can adopt another dog. Don't worry about yeah. it. Is that good or bad? i kill the dogs you got with the radiation. But, you know, they're, they're, I mean, they're fine. I called them up. I can I'm so it. sick of, of doctors. I am too, Alex. I hate you it. You know, I mean, it, it just, it, it just, they get you in this doctor mill, you know, and today none of them want to ever say, okay, you know, there's a 10% chance it might be something, but let's just keep an eye on it. Okay. No, he sends me off to the oncologist, oh, which to begin with point. means cancer doctor. Right. Yeah, that's exactly and all that's these, it's funny, point. all these hematologists, people who deal with blood, yeah. are also oncologists. Oh, really? I have no idea why. You know. So, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm tired of it. I guess at my age, any time that you even sneeze, they go, I think we better send you to a cancer doctor. You know. So. Well, you know, I mean, the, the reality is, is the older you get, the higher chance you get, the, the higher risk you are for getting things that go wrong. Yes, I know that. You know, okay, but you don't no. have to rub it in. I'm not rubbing no, it not in. No, not you, the doctors. <clears throat> oh, the doctor, yeah. Oh Talk my about God. rub it in. I, I went to the doctor. I had an elevated thing in my blood. I asked him if I could just go get another opinion, and he said, sure, you're ugly, too. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, that, that yeah, one. All week. That one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are we all using Tony's background tonight? We're not. Know. It's just, it's just filling. Me. I feel like if I knew you were coming, I would have had some cake kids. You know, you you, you know we were coming. You would have had a light in there. Yeah, I got all the lights off. Yeah, <laughs> we never can see his background, which you, you guys are using as the background. So it's very attractive background. You know, we're doing. We're painting the rooms out. <laughs> or we're going to leave the wallpaper up. I'm serious. So. Really? That's the most general. hideous. <laughs> you you should do it. Up. It is the oh, most hideous uh, wallpaper Brian is, ever. Uh, it looks like he was flying uh, the way he had the camera. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. good, right? Oh. Yeah. No, wait a minute. What is, what, is, what is Brian Sigmund doing with his camera? Uh, he's got it on a pole. He's angle. doing a selfie. What, 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 Brian? What? Is there something bothering you? No, no, I, I, I'm i drinking beer. Oh, he's getting <laughs> drunk again. Right on. Watch out for the furniture. It gets in the way. It does. It's awful. Yeah, yeah. I remember I remember old Moon Rocks. <clears throat> I, had a, I, had a, I had a buddy of mine. That was my nickname, by the way, in, in high school. Moon Rocks. Old Moon Rocks? Yep, and I, I, so I had a friend of mine. He was a cartoonist. And I, I made a few albums, and he did all my album art and all. And I said, "You gotta do, a, you gotta do a, a piece of art for me, for this guy Alex Bennett." Mm -hmm. And he made this, he made this beautiful caricature of Alex, with a moon rock on his desk. And for the life of me, I can't remember where it is. It's somewhere in, in this house. Mm -hmm. And. Um, it was it was called Moon Rocks, and uh, we sent it to you, Alex, years ago, back the Sirius XM day. I know, I know, and I still think I have it. I'm looking. Here. And I remember, I remember Albert's um, reaction. He goes, "Those eyes, they're so sullen," and I never forgot that word, sullen. He he he, he described her eyes as sullen. I don't know what that means, but it was. Uh, yeah, I, cool. I have that picture around here, but I, I don't know where it is right now. It's in, I think it's in the other room, but I do have a picture of it, and I don't know where it is. So, you know, because... Yeah, when Jim, he, when Jim he, was, was a fantastic artist. You know, he, he used to be one of these guys, you know, the newspapers years ago mm -hmm. used to put... A, this is how he made a living. The newspapers would... Would they would put out like, oh, we need Bill Cosby riding a mechanical bull, and they would put it out there, and he would be in these pool of artists that would hurry up and create this thing, and then submit it, 
and hopefully get their art picked so they would make the commission on it. And it was a really weird. It was. It was. It was. Back in the day, newspapers. That that was a weird. That was a weird industry that the that the artists were in for stuff like that. And um, you know, today, Jim, who who created that artwork, um, <clears throat> he now does like uh, a beer beer labels. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like microbreweries are very popular. So he does a lot of labels for these beer companies that are all over the country. He'll start making like customized labels and stuff. But it's a it's, it's a it's a weird industry, art and all. Yeah. And uh, I, I remember uh, I remember when I asked him, I said, do Alex Bennett. He did you pretty good. Yeah, I wish I could find it. I, I, it is here somewhere, and I'm trying to look and see if it's if I can find the picture. But I, if I find it one day, I'll make sure I have it handy for no, but, you. No, I, no, I, got, but, I got a copy of it too over here somewhere. Uh, well, I have it here somewhere. I have it. I have it actually a framed version of it. Mm. Oddly enough, um, uh, might be in the other room right now, but I'll have to uh, get it. Now, Alex, you had a have a relative, uh, Moresco or something. He, he did the camel. Uh, I had a camel belt buckle. Uh, that the guy who used to distribute the camel stuff. Well, he uh, was my he was my cousin's uh, husband, Victor Moscoso. Yeah. What are, yeah? What other kinds of stuff did he do besides? Well, he the did camel? he did uh, uh, um, poster art for the rock houses in San Francisco. For not the Fillmore, but he would did the Matrix and the uh, there was another one. And he did the the artwork for those. Uh, yeah, and I, I can't find the belt buckle. I, I don't know what happened to it, but I, there I really was, like. Yeah, it. there was a, a, a camel belt buckle. I don't have it anymore. Yeah, you remember the guy that was the camel stuff guy? They called it. He sold the camel stuff. Yeah, and he came Kay Wardell, I think, was his name. No, well, yeah. Wardell was a PD. But anyway, no, he wasn't. <laughs> Never. He was well, a promotions uh, uh, director. Oh. Okay, no. Th this other guy was kind of looked like a cross between Brian and Kevin. And oh, uh, Jesus, boy, that's scary. No, but uh, young. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember his name. <laughs> nice guy. Though. Anyway, uh, uh, I I know the picture you're talking about, <clears throat> Brian, and I have it. I think in the other room. Um, Alex, have you have you ho hold on a second? Know. Talk to each Go other, ahead. folks. I'll be right back. Oh. Whoa. Now, has anyone here looked into the chat GPT? Yes. Yes. Tons. Now, has this been discussed here on the Ramble? Or uh, yeah. Uh, and I read an article tonight about a rabbi that mm -hmm. used the chat GBT to do his sermon, and the people loved it, but he said that it didn't have soul. It, it, it well, just didn't have emotion. Well, it does have soul. The soul is it's got malware in it. Yeah. Right and now. the other thing is, Alex did, a, Alex did a 500-word chat GBT, and he sent it to me, and I thought it was excellent. And uh, But it got one or two facts incorrect, That and, uh, and then he said, nah, this is no good because it got something wrong. But I, I thought it was really well done. I, I had it write a 10 minute play about a topic and it wrote the play in about five minutes and it was really good. What? What did you? Chat GPT. Oh, I think it's, I think it's useless. <laughs> I think no, it's, well, no, I, it's in the beginning stages. But bud. it's highly overrated. Listen, these things have existed before. You know, this whole no. idea that AI is something new. Ask Charlie was talking about the other night, right? Nothing Not new, new, right, Charlie? Yeah. Just it's better now because we have better hardware. We have faster hardware. Yeah. No, it isn't faster hardware. It's faster software. Uh, well, you know, and and it okay. just simply goes out to the web, grabs information, and 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 coalesces it. We just are able to do these things a lot faster now than we used to be able to. I mean, just think about computers in general. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, they, so I'm on the board of I'm on the board of directors of the. Uh, Grand Army, the Republic Museum in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And just for fun, I said, all right, write an article about this. Then I said, write an article about that. And it wrote some, it, it wrote really good articles about, uh, about the things I asked it to. 
Um, I, well, I read an article the other night. I had it right about me, and it was wrong. One you thing. Read, no, not one thing. Us. Huh? You read that to us. Yeah, it wasn't that accurate, was it? Yeah, yeah, well, but, but 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 you're judging something like we're we're, we're you're judging something on like you know on on. On something. It's, no, but it's it not, just that everybody's going ape shit over this, and they shouldn't go ape shit over it. I mean, it's not going to change the world yet. What has changed the world already? Uh, you know something? You think about things that change the world. You know what changed the world? The iPhone changed the world. Penicillin. Penicillin. But the iPhone didn't start out as the iPhone. It started out as this big clunky thing that you had in your car with no, an no, antenna. No, 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 no. The iPhone, the way it was conceived and yeah, put but, together, and the, the way you could get information in your pocket, uh, it certainly completely changed. Was a game changer it, in the world. It was a music device. It started out as an iPod. No, but what I'm saying is, there's more to it than just being a phone now. Okay. I mean, this, is, this is the thing you sent me on the chat the, about your chat GBT, mm -hmm. and I could see some some errors. It says you've been uh, I've been working since nineteen seventies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so that that was an error, and it says uh, you you said that one of the other errors that it said the wrong radio station. Uh, w uh, W uh, ABC. ABC. Which, yeah, which wasn't correct either. No, uh, I guess it was KTIM, right? No, well, WABC here in New York was, was I worked PLJ, at, but well, didn't you start at KTIM? I started at KTIM in San Rafael in the fifties. Right. So that would so have been they, the correct. They were thing. off by twenty years. Yeah, but the rest of it was so good. No, it just was saying things I wanted to hear. He's well, known yeah. for his wit and his wisdom. And you his, know, when you when you when you put Phil's name in there, it says old, ugly. Can't sell carpet. A Trump supporter. It got all those right. You missed one or two. Okay. A uh, nice guy. There you go. Here, here's my point. Here's the point I'm trying to make: is that right now, if you were to copy and paste code that's not working into ChatGPT within three seconds, it will evaluate the code, correct the code, and spit it right back out to you in copy and paste form. Have you tried so, that? I did. I no. tried it. Code? So, code? Yes, code for an HTML page, and I had a problem with it, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. I described what I wanted. It wrote the HTML. I put it in. It worked perfectly. Wow. So the, the point is, is that there are right now companies that have laid off workers because of what they needed. And you have companies right now that are using ChatGPT as their customer service, which, by the way, you think you have a problem with customer service now? Wait till the future. It's going to get worse. It's going to cost you $4, Bill. I yeah. bet you it'll be polite. <laughs> the, 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 the At least it'll speak English properly. This, this, this stuff is going to grow, and it's going to get better, and it's going to change the world we live in yeah. it, on, on its head. ChatGPT, I, I had a guy who was an academic. He was like, there is no replacement for the academic. No, I'm not, like, that's not what well, I'm, that's well, not, that's that's not what I'm arguing. You're talking about it being a game changer. And quite frankly, I think there's a lot of other stuff down the road that's going to be a bigger game changer than that. You know, this is just a step. This is just a step getting to the next step. Donald then, Trump going to prison? This, that's a big game changer. Then oh, this? No. Journalism's dead. Like, you're, you're going to have this, you're, you're going to have people just, I mean, how, how many articles have we read already? That well, we have enough misinformation AI? in this world without the information that's going to come about because people are going to ask to, for, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, GDP or whatever it's called. Chat. Uh, uh, chat GDP. Uh, to do something, and it's going to spit out some wrong information. They'll accept it as truth because it's chat GV, GDP or whatever. What does the GDP stand for? I GPT. don't know. GPT. GPT. It, it's, Trump's, GTP. it's the initials for Oh, his Alan, name. give it up already. No. <laughs> no. Mute him. Mute him. Hey, Everybody loves something? it. I'm I'm mute, him. mute you with all your conspiracy theories. You know, the, the balloons are dropping seeds, they're going to kill our crops. You never know, right? Is that true? Yeah. Problem, I've been using the problem it they're having with it is that the uh, kids are using it in schools right. for their 
school for their essays. They, they have a way of figuring out whether it was written by uh, AI or not. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. If there's software to put it, to put it out there, there's software to find out if it's. Well, uh, no, there's ways to find out if there's plagiarism, but when you have AI and it's it's nuanced, it's it's not really plagiarism. It's it's actually creating. Yeah. So it, yeah, it, it is. It's, but... it's a real freaking problem. In academics, well, well, no, we're right. all adults you here, Brian. Yeah, there, the, 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 no, the, no, you have people. You have, wait, you have wait, professors wait, out Brian, there that Brian. are throwing. Sorry. The problem is the problem that you have here is we rely on too many things as being correct. I mean, the problem. I'll give you a simple problem. You call up uh, uh, your bank. And unless they have all that information in front of them and they can spit it out as it's been written down for them to set back to you, oh, uh, 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 asking, uh, doing, uh, calling technical support, okay? They go to a page and they just read it back to you. They never, half the time they don't get it right. You know, the fact is that what computers have done today is that we, we rely on them too much as being empirical when they're not. And they're subject to problems. And we don't take into consideration that. And so these companies don't care about that. You know, they just want somebody to read from their, their screen what the solution to your problem is when there's no real human experience going on there. I don't know yeah, what but, I'm saying. Yeah, but, but, that, but you're just kind of speaking to the point that they don't give a shit. They're, they're using this stuff. They're, yeah, but what I'm saying is we rely too much on computers to be right when computers can be wrong, okay? And when we... Yes, when but, we, when but, we, but, but that's what they're doing. They're relying on but stuff But what we like do is we're, we're, people are ceding uh, control to the computers rather than saying, hey, we're going to look into this and we're going to figure this one out and we'll use a computer to help us along, but we're not going to take its word for gospel. Yes, uh, Alan. So this chat GBT, one of the things it does is like you ask it about yourself. It went to Wikipedia and looked at the information. It, 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 something like that, it's not going to know you or me or Phil. A or person, a person, if you want to do an article on Alex Bennett, you would do better by going to Wikipedia and looking me up. Than you see, that's the point between that's the point of the computer is you put garbage in, you're going to get garbage exactly. out. Exactly, so, but, so but people, thing. but people have forgotten that, uh, uh, Kevin. Yep. They've forgotten yeah, well, that. That's, that's what it, until the, until the garbage going in is perfected, the garbage will come out. In the very beginning, well, that was the that was the that was the motto of the yep. internet and of computers, and that was garbage in, garbage out. Right, but we've and it still that. is, but we... until that gets perfected, and it's getting better and better, yeah. but it still stands. Yeah, but I mean, everybody... Alex, you like you like uh, computer games, you know these. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you remember if forty years ago you had Pong, and now you've got the one where the little girl Look, is. Living I'm not saying the things aren't going to get bigger and better and more important, but it's got to start but, somewhere. But I, I think that if we come back ten and fifteen years from now and look up chat GDP or whatever the thing is called, it's not going to exist. There's going to be something else that's it, replaced it. There's something else that's <laughs> replaced it. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time here. Uh, yes, Jeff, you had something quick. Uh, I was going to say, i got four granddaughters. Yeah. They do all computer stuff for me, and they can solve any problem. Yeah. Good. Anyway, hey, listen, we got to go. Thank you very much, Phil. Yeah. Appreciate it. And, My pleasure. And, and, and of course, uh, to our, our good friend up there, uh, Brian Sigmund. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, I love uh, you. Uh, yes. Uh, by the way, thank you, uh, Alan. And thank you to Charlie. Always love having Charlie here. Kevin, great having you here. Jeff, terrific. Ray, good seeing you again. And Tony, great seeing you. Why doesn't everybody give a big wave goodbye? And I will give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen plan. 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 Forget it. I'm English is my second language these days. I'll see you all again. Uh, let's see here. Well, oh, Jack Bishop, keep our fingers crossed, is next over most of this gab net. We'll see you here uh, tomorrow night again. 
at uh, 1030. Same time, same station in life. And as always, in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody. Yeah.